Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be putting some paint on my Mark Six Transit. Now as you know from the last video, she's already prepped and ready to go for paint. However, the first thing you've got to do before we apply any paint is we've got to go over it with these tack cloths which gets rid of any dust, any residue that's left on the side of the van, any panels. Um, also, I don't know where they are, but we've also got to use some wipes to get rid of any oil grease that may be left on the panels. Just to try and stress how important this stage of prep is important here is one of the tack cloths and i've used all three this one was the last one as you can see that's kind of the color it's meant to be and that's what it looks like now and all three of them were in that bad estate so now all i've got to do is just wipe it with some panel wipes wait for it to dry and then we can crack on with the paint so the type of paint I'm going to be using for this project is basically a own brand Rust-Oleum. Now the good thing about that is it's got plenty of rust inhibitors etc inside there. So once I've laid it down on some paint, even with bare metal etc, it will stop it from rusting. The other beauty about this paint is it can be thinned down, which is what I'm going to be doing for using with my air compressor and, and a cheap air gun. Um, hopefully that should give me a better finish. I have seen guys roll it on and then flatten it down and they get just as good a finish. However, I've got the tools so I might as well use them. Right now that the panel wipes are all dry, it's time to apply some paint. First coat's done on the side and the front. I've had to remove the masking off that side window as it started flapping about, so I'm gonna have to redo that before the second coat. So sadly, the air gun really doesn't work with this type of paint. Um, what I really need is an airless um, paint system, like whether you would use in a house uh, for that kind of paint, as this paint is too thick, regardless of how much I've thinned it down. I've put about 10% thinner in still nowhere near thin enough however as a first coat it's actually not too bad so what i'm going to do is i'm going to carry on the rest of the van using the air gun and then before coat two i'll go get myself a airless system i've got to leave 10 hours but what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to leave it for the week um, and then tackle this again for the second coat next weekend <laughs> I've left the van to dry for about five days or so, so it's now ready for a second coat. I've now also bought a new toy. I've bought an airless paint system. It copes with this particular paint a lot better as the nozzle size is a lot larger. Now I've given the airless paint system a quick test fire. It's ready to get cracking. So the 
van now has two coats of paint. I let it dry overnight, probably about 14, 15 hours since I painted the second coat on. It should be just about dry enough for me to start flattening it back, getting a smoother finish on some of the areas. There's a few little runs and a few little bits and pieces which aren't quite perfectly smooth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten the whole thing back, give it a third coat, wait for that to dry, probably leave it until next weekend, then give it all a proper final flatten down and then polish her up and then hopefully we should have our final finished product. As you can see, I've done a little test strip of flattening it down and you can see the difference. I've now got rid of a lot of the bumps and lumps compared to say this side here. Unfortunately, it looks as though the original paint underneath on the fan has reacted with the thinners inside this paint. However, it is correctable like we can see here. Give it all a good flatten back and then like I say, give it a third coat and then hopefully we can then flatten it back, give it all a good polish and then we'll get our final finished product. Right, so the third and final coat has now been done on the van. Let's have a look. All right, so here's what she looks like now. As you can see in the light, kind of over here, there's quite an orange peel effect going on. But what we'll do is once the paint is fully cured in probably about three or four weeks time, we'll get the van back in and give it a complete wet sand, flatten down and polish up. But for now, this is the finished article. As you can see, that third coat's kind of giving it a little bit more of a glossy finish as I laid it on quite thick. I've now put it all back together so I could take her home. I've installed some Mark 7 Transit rear lights. Just brings it up to date a little bit. Put all the trims back on, wheel mirrors back on. Lights are installed. So yeah, that's how she's gonna stay for probably about three, four weeks, wait for it to fully cure, flatten her back, polish her up. So in terms of actually painting the van, she's now complete. Like I say, what I'm gonna do is about three or four weeks time, I'll bring it back in, give it a complete wet sand, polish her up, and then that'll be the complete finished article. However, this is how she's gonna sit now for the next three or four weeks. So join me next time when hopefully we'll be starting the interior. Thank <laughs> you.